What's up, you boners? I got a review. This time, I'm gonna review the uh, HEB pita chips combined with the uh, Sabra Supremely Spicy Hummus. Hummus. So, uh, yeah, I just bought this stuff. Uh, I've already had a good amount of the hummus. You can't really see it, but I'd say the uh, consistency of the hummus is pretty good. The chips are uh, pretty standard. Nothing to really speak of about the chips, but one thing about the hummus is it's actually not supremely spicy. It's actually pretty mild. Uh, I dumped a bunch of uh, cayenne pepper and uh, cumin seed, as well as uh, some Dave's Insanity sauce into this. And after mixing it, it tastes uh, pretty damn good. Definitely better than the way it came. Yeah, how's that cheekiness taste? I'm doing a review on it. <laughs> now I'm gonna review again. These puppies. So if you didn't see my previous review for Guinness, it's got nitro technology. It's a new thing. Listen for this. Alright, splashed more than I was hoping. I'll be alright though. Need to be more careful, I'm gonna end up fucking up this keyboard. This is a really nice keyboard. That would be a disaster. That would be really bad actually. I'd fucking off myself. No, it's, it's definitely straight though. All right, so let's see how it tastes. Let's give it a shot. This is the Guinness Draft. Brewed in uh, Dublin, I'm sure you know. Y you might be interested in the uh, alcohol content on this, so I'll find that for you. I suspect it's gonna be uh, like 4.2. It is exactly 4.2, but yeah. I think I read that before, so. It's got a good flavor, man. You gotta respect Guinness. But uh, another thing to not want to evaluate would be the uh, chuggability. Uh, I suspect it'll be high. This is a 15-ounce uh, a can. So 15 ounces, 4.2. Why would they make 15-ounce cans? If that makes sense. So it's a quarter bigger. Beer. Yeah, I mean, I guess it makes up for the uh, ABV, so it's like a, a, a full beer, I guess you could say. Well, let's give it a shot, boys. This is Heinous Man. Yeah, I was pretty satisfied with that. The chuggability, extremely high. Some people don't like dark beers, and I don't really think Guinness is dark, but I mean, it's clearly not a, not a light beer, like an American light beer that people might be used to. I wonder if you can find the, uh, one second, the IBU for this. It can't be that high. Uh, it looks like it's actually 45, which is pretty decent, but that can be a misleading uh, number, honestly. You know, 45. I guess I'm just used to the bitterness, I don't know. No, I think it's refreshing. It's got the... Uh, Flavor of a stat, but it's a uh, mild. It's a, uh, it's it's actually a refreshing beverage. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the Guinness. 
I would purchase it if I were you. Uh, the home is, um, I don't know, I mean, I just don't think it's spicy enough, but besides that, it's pretty solid. Before I added my own shit into it, I'd give it like a 6.5. After I added the, uh, shit I mentioned before, I'd say it went up to about an 8 out of 10, like, it's, it's pretty hype, but I would buy it this way, if I'm like, for sure. Oh yeah. Might need to add a bit more hot sauce though. That Dave's sauce, man. That shit's good. That shit is fire. So, uh, I don't think I actually reviewed the Dave's Insanity sauce, but I'll do that uh, shortly. So, be sure to uh, uh, stay on the channel. Check it frequently. It's gonna be bomb. Uh, hummus. Already rated. The chips, I, don't, I can't even rate the chips, they're just fucking pita chips. The Guinness, uh, for how popular it is, I mean, it's fucking good, but it's definitely not anything too crazy. I mean, it could be like a 7.5, but for something that you can get anywhere, uh, I'd say it's definitely a, a superior beverage. So, thanks for watching my video. It's been a uh, ballin' as fuck, so, uh, ciao.